Okay, so that's what you the Vodashin, and welcome back to Stalin's StarCraft 2 Battle Report, and uh, the beta is closing in four days, so I'm trying to get as much StarCraft 2 maps out as I possibly can, while I still have the capability to do that. Uh, the game doesn't come out until July 27th, I believe is the official release date, and until, uh, and for about uh, two months there, I'm gonna have absolutely no StarCraft to play, and then I'll have to go through withdrawal, so I'm gonna get as much as I can out as, as, uh, fast as I can with the time that I have, and then after um, StarCraft beta is closed, then it's back to, you know, Empire, Tropico, and, and Duke Nukem. Anyway, um, talking about uh, just uh, a couple things recently, I'm sorry that I haven't getting more um, videos out. I've been very, very, uh, I guess, depressed with, with stuff, and uh, nothing I really want to go into about StarCraft, but, you know, when I'm d depressed, I just don't want to do anything. Like, I just don't have the energy to do anything. And also, I'm really on edge. Like, um, if you have to upset me in any way while I'm depressed, um, no, I, I... It's not pretty. So, like, if I'm reading comments and people are just jackasses, I'll just block you. Something I don't like to do. Uh, but at this point, like, you know, if someone's upset, you don't piss them off. Like, that's just common logic and common sense will tell you that. But, uh, it's something a lot of people seem to lack, so. Anyway, talking about the map here, this map is, I believe, called Arkan Temple. I am the Teal Protoss. My ally is Gigawatts. The Blue Protoss and the Red Protoss are handled by Stefan Juan, or Stefan Julia, I'm not sure. Well, whatever. Anyway, Stefan something. And across the map we face Necromant as the yellow Terran, Senior Bacon as the purple Terran, and Eagle Eye as the orange Protoss. A very Protoss heavy map, and uh, in case you guys don't know, I play random uh, all the time now. Pretty much random uh, as much as I possibly can. Because, uh, I don't know, I like to have practice as all races, and also uh, playing as random gives you an edge, a little, an edge a little bit, because the enemies don't know who you are or what race you are, and therefore can't make appropriate counters in the early stages of the game, and it gives you a little bit of a, you know, a little advantage over them, but I like to take every advantage you can possibly get, and then, you know, if you take all the little advantages in the game, that eventually adds up to one um, big, giant advantage, something that, you know, if you studied Hannibal, you'll, you'll learn a little, uh, bit about it, because that's the kind of thing he did. He would take all the little advantages he had in the battlefield, and then they'd all eventually just stack up into one giant huge advantage over his enemies. Anyway, um, like, like I said, always playing random, and in this map I've been sti I I've been getting stuck with a Protoss a lot, uh, but I guess that's not a bad thing, because I would consider the Protoss my weakest race. But, uh, you know, I'm getting practice with them, and at this point, I can pro I can, you know, pretty much own with any race in, uh, StarCraft. I think the Zerg are my favorite race, just because they're the most unconventional, and, uh, you, you don't know, you know, what's gonna go on with the Zerg. I think they're a little bit more unpredictable than the other races. And they just look cool. I think they're the coolest looking races. And, uh, you know, Protoss is still my least favorite, but, you know, they're still, you know, awesome, and they still have fantastic tactics in their own right to use. Anyway, uh, you know, early game, not a lot going on. This is a 3 versus 3 match, by the way, as you can see. This is a really cool, like, very, uh, interesting map, I think. I like this, uh, all, th all three allies are kind of stuck together, um, here in this sort of, uh, outcove here. Let's talk a little bit about the map, I guess. You can see that this temple has all three allies, uh, sticking fa we're fairly close together. There's a small choke point into, uh, two small choke points into their bases. And up here there's raised platforms with uh, towers, and if you go over into this top corner here, there's a mineral patch, mineral patch, mineral patch, and then uh, a rich mineral field. Also up on this raised plateau above your base, there is a um, two expansions, but they're covered by destructible rocks, and as you can see, um, Stefan, or the Red Protoss, is going to go and start destroying those rocks. Also, lots of expansions if you go just down here. Just, uh, go to your base, uh, across this road here. You'll see that there's another, um, mineral field expansion here, uh, also mirrored on the other side. And then the same thing, um, 
mineral, 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 and then a rich mineral field. So there you go. That's the the basic premise of the map. And at this point, I'm putting out um warp gates with uh, also warping in a dark shrine. So I'm gonna go. Uh, Dark Templar Harass again, because when I play as the Protoss, this Dark Templar Harass seems to be doing uh, a lot for me. It seems to be helping me out considerably. So, uh, I get all my guys, or sorry, not all my guys, all my gates are switched to Warp Gate. Also got a um, Warp Prism. Gonna go out across the map, and they can switch to Phase Mode, which creates a uh, power area, that the same that uh, Protoss pot pylons do, and then you can warp in any units in this power area. So I'm going to get here that we're going to go to a phase mode. Going to start warping in Dark Templars atop this little plateau here where this Terran player has no idea what it, what's going to go on because he doesn't he's not looking over this plateau at all. Also, um, you know, he's focused all his energies into blocking the front gate here. And uh, he's got a small force of ghosts and marauders and marines. But anyway, my uh, Dark Templars are just going to sneak in here, start killing some SCVs, and then they're going to start to destroy his uh, command center. And there, because Dark Templars have such powerful uh, attacks, they don't have a lot of health, but they have really powerful attacks, 45 damage. They're going to tear down that command center pretty quickly. And then uh, his troops are going to come in, and he scans, uh, one of his friends scans the area, because he's got a scan, uh, scan thing. And then I go around and I take out one of his, uh, ghosts. He's going to keep scanning the area, I'm going to keep harassing, keep moving around. Going to kill more of his SCVs, because they're there. You can see that he's running low on energy on his uh, on his command center. Also, uh, we've got an observer from the Protoss player. So anyway, then my uh, Dark Templar is going to come to bear on this guy's uh, base and going to destroy pretty much all his SCVs and then make their break. <laughs> Just a uh, terrible, uh, horrible raid on, uh, on, these, uh, on these guys doing terrible, terrible damage. Because people say that I don't do terrible, ter say terrible, terrible damage enough. So there you go, fan service. And uh, these Dark Templars are just going to continue uh, running around this base, destroying whatever they feel like destroying. But um, I'm finally able to kind of take out another one, and I got to get these guys out of here. I don't want to bring them up this plateau because um, my warp prism is there, and I don't want them to notice that it exists. So they're going to destroy it, and they're going to make a getaway. can't remember what happens to them. I think they might die at some point, but I'm not really sure. I can't remember if I bring them all the way back to base. But uh, at this point, I pretty much forget that they exist. So that was the first sort of action in the game, is my uh, Dark Templar raid there. And that was a very successful raid. I was really happy with the way uh, that turned out. Looking over our enemies, uh, we can see that uh, the Yellow Terran has expanded to this area up here. He's expanded to his uh, natural sort of expansion on this plateau. But, you know, we've delayed them considerably. Let's look at our, our resourcing tabs. Uh, resources. Income. No, sorry, there we go. Income. And uh, in terms of income, right now... Uh, Blue has got plenty of harvesters. All my team has plenty of harvesters. Right now, purple has only s five SCVs. Yellow at 15 SCVs. And um, right now, the orange uh, eagle eye, because I didn't wasn't able to harass him, has just got tons and tons of men and tons and tons of uh, probes right now harvesting. And we can see that Senior Bacon is moving his entire... For some reason, he, he lifted off his command center from here and moved it over into this corner. Not really sure why he did that. He just, you know, whatever. And it's going to start resourcing from over here. So here comes Eagle Eye. Now he's going to retaliate for that raid and he's going to start um, to burn up some of uh, 
the red Protoss area. And there, here's my Dark Templar, and they're just gonna chill out over here. Anyway, um, we're gonna have a Void Ray fleet battle going on here, but these orange, uh, orange Protoss have way too many Void Rays to contend, um, and are just able to steamroll Red's Void Rays, just totally crushing them. Absolutely nothing left. And now he's gonna go to town on this expansion. I've now, uh, because now I've got even, even more warp gates, and uh, I'm able to warp in stalkers very, very quickly. I'm gonna take the stalkers in and uh, give my ally a hand here. Just gonna let them all kind of bunch up. And the trick to dealing with void rays is they've got two gears, right? They've got two attack patterns, and they've got a, a low damage attack pattern and a high damage attack pattern. And you can see that by um, these little, I, I don't know what to want to call them, like the appendages on the front.